Hi guys, TSM here. So um, I've been doing some VXP testing with the um, the Heavy Cruiser Mark II, uh, and I've come up with a build idea that I think um, might be how I'm going to progress. I do have two ships completed. Um, they are fully ranked to, up to U3. They have the heavy weapon on as well. Uh, the build is not what I initially thought I was going to use, so I thought it'd be worth doing a video early so you don't make the same mistakes that I did initially when I built my ships. Um, initially, I went for a high evade build. I thought that was what was required. Um, it normally is in this sort of target, but it didn't seem to work out so well. This was the special I ended up going with. Why? Because it gave an extra multi-shot and it also gave extra corrosive damage. So there seems to be so many targets there that you can't outrange and they are also splash based. Uh, so I've gone for maximum amount of damage, particularly building damage, uh, to try and kill the turrets as quickly as possible. I've also gone for maximum amount of corrosive damage as well so I can kill the ships as quickly as possible. The drones are definitely going to be problematic, and I think if you go for a high evade and less damage, you're going to have a problem when the drones start splitting, um, and then you, obviously you're chasing drones around on, because they don't even bunch; they they sort of like they sort of like uh, move around you, um, and and then basically hit, and they have a longer range than what you did. So, uh, to me, then um, I did have this last special. Then I tried it on a guided scrambler first. Um, it was okay, um, and yes, I did get some evade, but I was taking too long to kill things off. Then I switched it, okay, and I went across and thought, well, I might need to go a bit faster, so I'll go across for Hyper 30 instead, give me a bit more speed, and it's still okay on the evade. It actually didn't make any difference whatsoever, bizarrely. Uh, then I obviously switched up again, and I looked at these two specials here. You could either have a scattergun reload of bonus of 20% and have the speed, but actually what I settled for um, is this one here, which is the chaff splitter system, okay? Uh, and that's because it had the extra multi-shot. So, um, so obviously that gives you more more damage, and on top of that as well, um, it gave you an extra 20% corrosive damage. So, so this is the build I've gone for. The other thing I've also noted is there's a lot more corrosive damage than there is penetrative damage, okay? So I've actually gone for three corrosive um, armors and only one, okay then only one penetrative armor as well that has absolutely brought down my damage as well so that is it these are all the limited weapons okay that's the standard everyday heavy weapon i think we all knew that these were going to be the standard um specials to add because they're sort of pretty scripted okay uh, the only other option you possibly could do is change this one out here or if you didn't collect it anyway and you could probably just go for uh, good old raw building damage okay uh, which actually is giving you 165% building damage, which is a little bit, I think, 10% more building damage overall than the other weapon. But the problem is it's not giving you half as much uh, corrosive uh, raw damage. You've lost quite a bit of corrosive raw damage because there you look, you're getting an extra 65% and then 90% building damage. So whilst it's only 100 and 50% if you have the two stats together. I think killing the ships is actually more important. So I'm going to stick with this. Um, I have, like I say, I've been out and done a little bit of testing. So for me, okay, I've got two ships built because that's all the weapons I managed to collect at, at this stage. Okay, and I've been playing around with crews as well. So I've noticed we're using the evade crew, which is great because obviously it gives you more evade. We've already discussed that I don't think... You need a massive amount of evade just because there's so much area effect weapons hitting you. Um, I'm trying to kill things faster, so I'm probably going to start using Creeping Death, I think, to be honest. It seems to be doing the job quite nicely. Uh, there are other crews out there, but don't forget, certain crews don't work with scatter guns. So things that have obviously, you know, um, critical damage and that sort of stuff, they don't work with scatter guns, so there's no point using those. Let's have a look at the target. I've, I've sort of uh, had a little peek at the target and I found a little sort of path. I mean, and I know it's only a VXP target, but I think the best thing about this target is it can be broken down. There are, as we know, certain items that we can outrange or we have a similar range to. And there are certain things that you can't outrange. So these are obviously the, the turrets that we can outrange. 
Now, I don't know what you think, but basically I've noticed that since I put this crew on as well, I've actually reduced the time to kill by one volley. One, two, three, four. I think that's critical. Uh, it was taking five volleys. It's not going to increase the damage of the ships because it's a building damage one, but when you start taking out these longer range turrets, particularly ones that pop up in the middle, it will have a huge impact. Because obviously, if it's one less volley to kill them, then obviously that's less time for them to put damage on me as well. Um, this is quite a interesting build because of the raw damage that I'm managing to kill off the drones so they're not spreading. So I'm managing to get everything done before the drones have a chance to spread out. Two, three, four. This one over here we can outrange. This one down here we can't outrange, but fortunately we can get it on a drive-by before we actually have to turn in and pick up the penetrative turret that pops up there. And this is a dumb fire weapon, the penetrative. This one we can outrange, but the one that's going to fire in a second there is a dumb fire. And look, it's shooting that red ring, which is obviously going to cause damage. Now, if I'm getting close, it has a minimum range look, so it's not firing at me anymore now. And then I can drive straight on and kill this. It looks like a sort of a king turret, doesn't it? Sort of a, like an OP type turret. And then I can kill this one and turn south. I'm basically trying to get to these cluts before I get obviously to the Romans. To get to the drones first. So turn in. And just the last two to do now. And there we go for the last one. I'm not going to enjoy this raid set. I've already decided we are going to get guaranteed damage no matter what. There is area effect damage. There's quite a lot of it. That I'm sure, and this is quite a simple target, I'm sure the targets will get harder obviously in the second set um it doesn't look much fun so we had a victory which is fine uh the damage then on uh, this one there that was 54 minutes it ranges around about 45 to 55 minutes it seems to be anyway for, for two for two ships okay well, i hope that helps like i said take a look down below because i'll put the build code down there as well uh, and these are my thoughts, okay? You, you will have your own, I'm sure. Um, like I said, I've tried Guided Scrambler. I've also tried, you know, to look at Hyper 30. I think this is going to be the way. The faster we kill these turrets, okay, the better it's going to be. Um, hope that helps. TSM out.